You guys ready to start start the warm up? Fuck yeah! Yeah, let's do some stretching maybe and yeah, little child pose, you know. Bust out the foam rollers, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have foam rollers? I do. Yeah. And a yoga mat. Is it helpful? Are your rollers helpful? Mm Mhm. Yeah, they work a bit. They're painful though, but if you do the twenty minutes, you really sit there and stretch your muscles. You can you make something happen. Yeah. Is that like you when, gotta stretch? Like when people start getting old, they have to do that. I don't know. I wouldn't. Yeah, know. Have, fuck yeah. As like a very young person, I wouldn't know. So you. Oh yeah, I forgot. I Julie's twenty years old. Yeah. Don't you don't. Know. Do you stretch in the morning? Um. No, I don't. Jesus, I? do you stretch in the morning? Uh, not nah, just when I wake up out of bed. Not gonna stretch. I stretch after a workout or something, but not like stretching like, yeah, out of when bed. you get out of bed. Like no. early morning, like ah, hit this. No, I'm not a white person in a drama movie. I do not wake up, <laughs> stretch, and make a four course breakfast that I abandon while rushing out the door. That's not, it's it's not fresh my forte. Orange juice. My morning, my morning is just wake up, roll the blunt, and just be like another day, baby, another day. I must be super, super washed, bro, because I got to do like the baseball, the whole baseball field, like stretching routine. Before I get out you of do bed. all that. Every morning, all that shit, bro. My my was fucking that, uh, doctor was like, "Yo, you need to stretch your fucking back before you get out of bed, dog, or you're yeah. gonna fucking fall apart." Does it help? And I was just like, "All right, it does." I'm not even gonna lie, it does. <laughs> that and like you know a little bit of the sauce mm-hmm. takes the edge off. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Stop. No, stop. Don't course. worry, guys. Yeah. No, you're fine. We're fine. Everyone's Allegedly, fine. no one's in crisis Allegedly. right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're all in crisis. We're all, been all, like, listen, this is all, the whole shit is a crisis. What are you talking right? about? It's been indoors for like eight years. Yeah. Are you saying, yo? I just went outside and felt the sun on my face for like the first time in two weeks today. How was it? It was amazing because yesterday, like the past two days, I felt like garbage. I thought I was having di- diverticulitis. I was scared to death. I was like, I don't want to go to a hospital. Turns out I'm fine. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you need shout that out to vitamin Gatorade D. Yeah, for keeping me hydrated. And then I went outside, I got some vitamin D. Yeah, not vitamin D, you know what I'm saying? Because that would confused a lot yeah that'd be weird if i was a vitamin that's like a i just put you in that pixar movie i guess <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are both like vitamins? osmosis jones we just go through my body <laughs> Wait, like yo the colon around. is in danger what vi- what benefits does vitamin Dzus provide vitamin Dzus, you get a lot of sneakers you can roll yeah. really good blunts and uh you have really good eyebrows you know okay it's just it's just that's just what you get what does it's vitamin important. miro provide what benefits do Listen. you provide <laughs> I get big, <laughs> big hands, <laughs> big hands, a high tolerance for weed, uh, uh, virility, ex- uh, virility, extreme, extreme virility. You know, you know the, the, the ability to grow a very scraggly beard at a moment's notice. Okay, great. Go. Yeah. You know? Once a day. That's all you need. Um, okay. So do you guys want some animal goss? Maybe animal goss. Yeah. <laughs> animal goss. Yeah, animal Bring goss. that. Bring that hot animal goss. All right, it's kind of cute. Animals, are these animals piping? Oh, oh. I saw this. This was kind of this was sad because it reminded me of Josh. Yeah, pug in North <laughs> yeah. Carolina test positive for coronavirus. Maybe the first for dog, dog in the U.S. The US. Look at the dog. They just and they were they saying that the dog has results. It. What are they saying for the longest time? Like dogs are not. They can't. Carry no, I think the they said blood. animals could get it because uh, all those animals in the zoo got it. So, yeah, the oof, bronx like, tigers. Yeah, a bunch of tigers it. got it in the zoo. Like, yeah. what's going on? Damn, the tigers are not social distancing, dog. At There's all, man. Four quarters also, of I the feel like, my guy. Also, I feel like it's because, uh, you know, the bad healthcare system in the Bronx, these tigers are not getting the appointments they deserve nor That's need, right. all right? Talk about okay? it. Mm-hmm. All right? Make these people open their third eye forcefully. Mm-hmm. Dr. Fauci, you know come save the tigers. That's right. You talk about, oh, oh, everybody else. What about the tigers? Should we do a protest in front of like in front of the White House? Like, come save the tigers. Come, save I think people tiger. would that be tone deaf yeah, um, if we were just like, how would save you get the tigers. to DC? Would you take a train or would you drive? Whoa, 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 whoa! We're just going to DC. We're doing this in front of a green screen. Like, what are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like the Capitol building behind us and shit. Like, yo, we're protesting in Zoom. Okay, so then it's not I don't know if that's deaf. as effective. Uh, you know, if what a protest could just. Comes? If you could mute a protest by clicking a ma- uh, microphone icon, it's not the same. It's yeah, yeah not. that's true. If you could yeah. boot someone from your protest, like nah. yeah, like if they <laughs> could, imagine like uh, when MLK was doing his speech, they just muted him like that. Like yo, get this motherfucker out of here. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, ah, oh, have a boop. boop. He's like, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. They're like, the meeting has ended. Like, <laughs> the meeting, ah, meeting has been on. ended by host. <laughs> uh, don't do MLK like that. Is this is this is this dog okay? This is Winston. Yeah, he's is a, that a pug thing? 
Like, do all pugs' tugs hang out like that, or is it just some pugs? I think they're all poorly designed. I, I feel whoa, like... Whoa, whoa, watch the pug slander. What? Watch it's, the pug slander. It's true. They're not meant to be dogs, right? Aren't what? they, like, so inbred? Like, they can't breathe. They pugs snore. Pugs are beautiful. Pugs are beautiful. They look kind of ugly, but they're not. But a lot of people don't realize is most pugs are reincarnated humans that died tragically. That's why they look like that. Oh shit! Oh, they're thinking about that. Look at him. He's you can see he, he got his face got smashed. Yeah, they can't yeah. breathe at night. <laughs> no, they can't. Nice. They reverse nice. sneeze. Yeah. Yeah. They got the short. They got the short snout. Like, yeah. That scares. That'll scare the shit out of you if you if you own a dog with like a short snout like that. Like the first time I heard Brandon yeah, do that shit, I was like, that, I was like, what the fuck are you dying? Are you okay? Are you okay? Had to open the mouth, started blowing in her mouth. And I was like, I don't think that works. <laughs> Would you guys do like, mouth to mouth on your dogs? I was like, I'm not. I was like, you can go ahead. And her person was like, ass. Would you? But I want to say Brownie. I want to say Brownie because she's getting older now, and I feel bad. Yeah. Do you guys have dog insurance? Dog health insurance? Is that pet insurance? No. Yeah. When I first recipes Rocco, when I first had him. I didn't know how to be a dog owner. So the first thing I did was go to Petco and I spent $200 on pet toys. That, and I did not have $200 for pet toys, but I was like, I guess this is what he needs. And then I got him a policy for pet insurance and it was $500 a month. <gasps> what? And but then, I, but then when I was walling and I just put it on my credit card. Oh so I was just like, I'll deal with this. And because the lady on the phone was like, I mean, like if your dog gets cancer, you won't pay for the chemo. And I was like, oh my God, I have to pay for the chemo. So I, and he had pet insurance for one month. And after that, I was like, oh, nah, fuck that. That's a scam. So I looked at him. I was like, yo, was don't get a, sick. That's my shit. Cause I'm like, yo, is it a scam or is it like legit insurance? Like, like after, like, is your copay se seriously reduced after that? For you? No, it's legit insurance, but it's just, it's, they said it makes more sense to just put the money in a savings account and just wait mm -hmm. in case something bad for happens to the animal. Cause like most animals aren't, they're not sick. It's just when they get sick, they get sick. So that's when you, they catch you out there. And then you be in a vet. And you feel bad because they'll be like, yo, he needs $7,000 worth of insurance. And you look down Oof. and dog is like, I would do it for you. And you're oh. like, shit, he would. He would. <laughs> would you ever get your dog braces if he really needed it? Excuse me? If you're... <laughs> dogs I don't think need braces? braces? No, I've heard of dogs needing braces. This is... Maybe it's a white woman thing. Never mind. Um, it might be. White women were I, arguing about butter on Twitter yesterday. I saw that. I mean, my vet is very white, uh, but I've never heard of dogs with braces. Ask your vets about uh, your dogs needing braces and get back to me, please. Is, is, okay. is, you know what? No, am I, is, my, having a vet, if, is having a vet and a vet dentist like the Wild Flex, like if they're ooh, two separate entities? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the vets and uh, animal dentists is two different doctors. So, like, you get referred to the... You get uh, referred to... <laughs> no, you do. When um, when Rocco got his, when Charlie scratched Rocco's cornea, what? I had to go to a, I had to go to a dog eye doctor, a specialist, the old, top dog eye, top, top dog eye doctor in Scarsdale, and it, she was so busy, it took four weeks to get an appointment. Jeez. She yeah. found her lane, bro. That is she like did. such a <laughs> such such a very specific, like yo, I treat dog eye injuries. She Fam, her hours rich. were like. Her hours were like, uh, I'm open from three to six on Tuesday and then two to eight on Thursday. I was like, uh, what about the rest of the week? She was like, mm, yeah. she's mm. like, I'm just counting my money, stupid. Exactly. <laughs> she was like, she was like, go to the other eye dog eye doctor. Oh, you can't. You can't. Ah, I was like, ah, ah, fuck. Monopoly, nigga, fuck, I'm eat a dick. <laughs> Wait, did did Rock have to wear an eye patch? No, this is the wildest part. The it was a three thousand dollar surgery. Oh my god. And it was like they were like he might need it or he might not need it. So I had to put down half of it and they were just like watching him for a week. And at the end they were like, no, nah, he doesn't need it. And I got all the money back. So shout out to Dr. Uh, Lee. She yeah. hooked it up. She wasn't, she didn't scam me or anything. Nice. So, okay. you know, so the, I guess the story for that is don't let your cat scratch your dog's eye. I don't know. Yeah. And go to school to be a dog eye doctor. You'll make a yeah. lot of money. That's the, that's the real Get your kids thing. into that, Miro. Tell them, yeah. tell them listen, that's where yeah. the lane is right there. Because yeah. everyone's getting pets now in the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Remind me to make my kids dog ophthalmologists. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to spay brownie first. And then I felt bad because like the vet was like, yo, if you don't do this, she'll get cancer. She'll oh, get ovarian cancer. God. And I was like, what? I was like, bro, like, are you fucking me right now? I was like, but then I read up on it and it's like the probability of them getting cancer is high. 
Well, everyone should get spayed, probably. Right, right. This is end. more of Julia's uh, man hating, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, my inbox is full. No more. <laughs> no more. So, do you really hate man? You're really cute. Oh my god. Ugh, god. I love your voice. Ugh. Julia is the most conflicted. Julia is the uncut gems and uncut gems. Like people on Twitter <laughs> are losing their mind. They're like, I hate her. I must contain her. I must have her. They're, people are just conflicted by your presence, Julia. Look, you know. Women are complicated. That's like all I have to say. You know? Wasn't there a song that explained that? It was Avril so Lavigne. Complicated. So complicated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember that because that. Remember we were working with Julia back then, and she had like a safety pin through her lip, and yes. she was like yes. real. Yeah. Yes. Had bangs. That was wild. She had yeah. bangs. Yeah. Yeah. Purple bangs. Purple. It was wild. I wore a tie. Was, yeah. Oh my god, that was so wild. A tie with a tank top on. I was like, <laughs> I was like, look at. Look at her breaking gender norms. Whoa. Whoa bro. Diane Keaton, who? Wow. <laughs> All right, let's get some real hot goss going on. Okay. More hot goss. More hot goss. I wonder, I feel like you guys probably saw this tweet uh, over the past few days. Oh, I man. Could not name one of these men if someone man, put a gun, put to, my gun to my head. Okay. I mean, um, so shit, now I, I got to ask you guys if someone put a gun oof. to your head. <laughs> I could not. I'm. I'm. A, I'm in the same boat as this. As uh, homie, is it, do you have to get their name right, or does it just have to be like, yo, this guy was in this, this guy was in? I that. mean, at that point, we could take that. Like, if we could, yeah, like, you know what I'll, I'll like, accept that. Like, I'll accept minimum. that. I'll give you a passing okay. grade. So I'll tell you right now, yeah. my guy number one mm -hmm. was on that USA show, White Collar. Okay, that is a correct answer. I think his name is Matthew. You are correct. And oh my the Matthew Modine? Matt Bomer. Bomer, there you go. Yeah. I, I was okay. going to say Matt Boner, but I was yeah. like, Susan Gang. Yeah. Uh, okay. And he was in Magic then, Mike. Okay. Second guy, I do not know. Third guy, I do not know. Fourth guy was, is from New Girl. Okay, great. And fifth we, guy, I do not know. Do we have a name for fourth guy? Oh, shit. It's just the guy uh, from the a GIF. Yeah, and he's, he's in a sitcom right now with Cedric. Oh yeah, that's right. But I, I don't know his name. He's just like one of those guys. He's remember he, we did number four. With Peter Gross when we did a Green Book with Peter Gross, and and it was just like we kept calling him the signing guy. Yes. Yeah. And then we found out his name, and it was like, oh, his name is Peter. All right. Yeah. Number four looks like a knockoff Mike Pelosi. Okay. Ooh. Do you see it? I, I agree. If you I you agree. see it, like it, like they couldn't get the genuine Mike, and they yeah, just like yeah, yeah. they They're went like, to Audis, gonna... and they were like they were like if you like Mike Pelosi, try this. And try like, this. That's not the same. <laughs> we see you're interested in Mike Pelosi. <laughs> He's a designer imposter. All right, you guys remember those? <laughs> yes. All right. Available. If You're Mike Pelosi is out. Chanel perfume, he is Petite Nate. Okay, that's right. Wow. He's I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Google it, bro. We, we, that references are getting older and older. All right. He's he's the I got bootleg some, Mike. I got some big band references to drop this episode, so I hope you guys are ready. He's the, he's the Mike with the Xerox cover. All right, so number two, we have no idea. No, no idea. Was, that's, I kind of uh, recognize him. He was in Thirty Rock. Mm -hmm. uh, American Horror Story. Actually, these all these guys are in American Horror Stories. Oh, okay. Are these real people or were these like computer generated things to fool us? I feel like the guy in the middle, dead smack in the middle, number three. Yeah, is he doesn't exist. Computer generated. He doesn't exist. Look his at that. Look at the He's a sim. Fake though. Can What's his name? his name? His name is yeah. the Cumberbatch. Close. It's Finn Whitrock. That's Finn? fake. Whitrock. Finn went rock. That's fake. Yeah. That's Not the name it. you you. That's the name when you go to the clinic and you have like a bump on your penis and you're embarrassed. You're like, <laughs> yep. I'm like, yeah, I'm Finn Whitrock. Finn? 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 I was like, no. Okay. New, you don't look like a Finn. New guy, new girl guy who you think looks like off brand Mike. His name is Max Greenfield. Max Greenfield. That's what it was. I thought Max I was going to say that's another Matt, but it's Max. Guy at the so end. So are they all. Mm -hmm. Do all their names start with M? No, they don't because. Oh wait, you said that guy's name is Flint, something, right? Finn, yeah. Finn, yeah. Finn, okay. Guy on the all the way right was in American Beauty. Do you recognize him? Oh uh, yes, with problematic Kevin Spacey. Mm-hmm. Wes yeah. Bentley. Yeah. Do you remember him? No. Wes Bentley. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like another <laughs> motel name. <laughs> yes, yeah, those sound like Bentley. super villain names. Like, oh my god, oh Wes Bentley's trying to take my farm. I, I'm not going to stand for this. Like, no. <laughs> All right, so there's a gun to your eyes' head. We know what would happen, but yeah. So yep. these are their names. Going, I'm going to the gulag, and I gotta fight my way out. 
But look, these are not like these are not like aside from Max and Matt, like these are not regular white guy names. Like just he's also not A listers. You know what I mean? What are, are yeah, these guys C listers or D listers or like <sighs> are they ensemble cast guys? Matt's a B lister. Cheyenne's C plus. Finn is B minus. Max is B plus. Wes is B minus. I want to say. So wait, if they're so like B minus. What does that make us? You guys are in the stratosphere. There are no letters for you. Do you know what I mean? You guys are a oh, list. I see, I see somebody wants to keep their job. Well done, Julia. Well done. 